Oh, check it out, dude. Yo, look at that. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add cinematics to your games inside of UEFN. The first thing we gotta do is set up our camera. Okay, so we're gonna look at the cinematic camera and how to make just custom cutscenes or like cinematics you guys wanna use with this camera. It's a really cool device and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Uh, on my screen right now, I actually have an example inside this new map that I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and click play and you guys can see in the bottom right over here. So we got the animation kind of just scrolling through. Looks really sick, nice and clean. So one of the first things to do is on the left side of the screen, we're gonna click the cinematic camera actor. Gonna go ahead and drag one of these bad boys out here onto my project. And as you can see on the right side, we kind of got a display and this is showing whatever the camera is looking at. So wherever I face the camera, that is what it's gonna be seeing. I'm actually gonna go ahead and rename this. So we're gonna go over to the right side, click edit and rename you can pretty much name this whatever you want i like to name it just so it's nice and organized i'm gonna name it water camera because this little side of the map has some water in it so i'm gonna hopefully remember that hopefully <laughs> next we got to work with the level sequencer so once we got our camera set in place the next thing we're gonna do is go down over on the bottom here what we're gonna do is go to the right side of our screen right click it then i'm gonna go up to cinematics and i'm gonna click on the level sequence and now we're going to name this sequence water, uh, I'll do just water camera and you can name this whatever you want. Just make it nice and organized. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to double click on that thing that we just created. This is a level sequence. So I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see down below, if you guys have ever used any video uh, editing software, it's going to look really familiar. This is basically a timeline. This works like how any other videos work, like on a phone. So on the very left side, uh, down here at the bottom, this is like the start of your video or your like cinematic. And all the way at the end on this red side, that's going to be the end of your cinematic. So first things first, we got to attach that camera to this uh, sequencer. So we're actually going to click this thing right behind me. It's this little green plus sign. We're going to go all the way up to actor the sequence. And this is where I'm going to type in that camera that I just created. So I named it water camera. We're going to select the water camera right here. And as you can see, now we got the water camera right here on our sequencer. All right, so this is kind of the fun part, at least if you like making videos. So pretty much wherever I move on the screen right now, I'm kind of controlling the camera itself. So what I'm going to do here is find a position that I really like. And this is going to be our starting position. So I kind of want the camera to start up here, show a little bit of the trees, a little bit of that water. Uh, to start this whole cinematic, what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down where it says transform. I'm going to open that menu up just like that. We got location, rotation, and scale. So I'm going to drag on this timeline right here all the way to the start. So it says zero, zero, zero. And I'm going to click these little keys. Then these key points, wherever you select them, that is basically what uh, is going to show when that timer reaches that specific area. So since I'm at the start of my sequencer, I'm going to click location, rotation, and scale. It's going to make three separate keys on this timeline. So I'm going to actually scroll probably like here. It's almost halfway point. I'm actually going to move the camera up to where I want it to be toward the middle of the cinematic. This is a pretty good spot. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is click this location button again for the key. Boom. Now that we have the location, I'm going to actually turn my view again. And I think I want it to be right here. So this looks good to me. I'm going to click rotation. And then we'll also click scale. The scale, I'm not changing for the cinematic. If you guys are changing it, you might have to adjust it a little bit. And now we just kind of repeat the process. I'm actually going to scroll forward just a little bit more, probably like about here. This is probably like three fourths of the way. I'm going to scroll forward, just kind of keeping it across this water. I'm going to click location again. Boom. And now fix my camera angle, click rotation, and click scale. And then the final bit of this, guys, I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of the cinematic, just like so. And let's choose the final spot. I'll just have it kind of wrap around uh, this way, I guess. I'm going to click location, turn my camera again rotation and scale now the really cool thing about this guys you can view what this looks like before you do anything further so at the bottom right over here there's actually a play button 
I'm gonna go ahead and click it and show you guys exactly what we got so far. So check it out. We're just kind of panning across the water. Oh, that is so smooth. Actually, you know what? I'm actually proud of that one. I'm proud of that one. That looks really clean. I'm gonna replay it one more time just so you guys kind of get an idea. But this is looking really sick. It's gonna be a really cool intro uh, for this little location that I made up. Now, I'm not gonna be going over the other settings in the sequencer, cause I'm just doing a beginner's tutorial, but you can also mess with like the camera itself. Now it's time to actually get it inside the game and get it working. So what we can go ahead and do, I'm gonna turn off my webcam again. We can go ahead and close out of the sequencer. We don't need this right now. So this right here, this is the level sequencer that we just made. If I ever need to edit it or do anything to it, I can double click it and open it back up. Um, this is gonna be pretty important because when we want to show it inside the game We need to remember what we named this now We have to throw down the cinematic sequencer device and put it all together next thing We want to do is go to the Fortnite folder. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and go to devices Now we're gonna scroll down or type in uh, the cinematic sequencer device, which is right here I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into our map right here. Just drag this anywhere. And now on the right side of our screen, this is where we have all the settings for this device. Right here it says sequence, and this is where we're gonna select that one sequence that we just worked with. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little drop down arrow, and I'm gonna select the water camera cinematic that we just created. So I'm gonna click it right here, boom. All right. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that it does not autoplay. There's a couple other settings you can mess with here And this is pretty much it guys All right guys and once you have this loaded in the only thing you really need is some type of like trigger or a button Or like something to start this pretty much. I'm gonna throw down a button just for the tutorial But basically we're gonna throw this button here into the map and check it out guys What we're gonna do we're gonna click on the cinematic sequencer device Click on it. I'm gonna scroll down right here where it says play function. I'm gonna click this little plus arrow. I'm gonna grab this little pen tool and I'm gonna click on the button. And like I mentioned, this could be anything a trigger, a mutator zone that somebody walks into. I'm gonna use the button just so it's super easy. So once we grab like this pen tool and click the bucket, we're gonna go down to the drop down menu and we're gonna click on interact. And this is pretty much it. So basically what happens is when you interact with this button, it's gonna send a signal and play this cinematic sequence device. And we already have the cinematic sequence device all hooked up, all ready to go. So now if we hop into a game and click that button, it should work. Now that everything's working together, let's show you what it looks like in game. All right guys, so here we are inside game. I got the button right in front of me. So we're gonna go ahead and click it. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Oh, check it out, dude. Yo, look at that. Okay, works perfect. And actually looks really good full screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click that again. I think we need to see it again. Oh, yeah, go across the water. Ooh, I like it, dude. That's really cool. Uh, once again, this is a beginner's guide. There is so much you can do with this. Like, I'm talking about, like, different animations. You can have stuff falling, sound effects. This is just the complete basics of this device. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys smash a like on it. If you want more tutorials on UEFN, I have a playlist that I will link down below. Let me know in the comments anything you guys want me to make a video on. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out, everybody.